it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a makeup declutter video. Uh, as many of you know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, that I do regularly go through my makeup collection and my closet and just overall my the items in my life to declutter things because I feel like you need to let go of the money you spent on something and just let it go. And I've been feeling some stress in my life, and I think that if I... Uh, take away some of these material items it will help me get to what's really <laughs> stressing me out so we're gonna start with my makeup I do want to go through my closet so if you want this kind of style of video but with clothes let me know I'd be happy to record that as well but I'm going to zoom you into my makeup and I'll have it just pointed down to my makeup so this is the only time you see my face and we're just gonna go through and pick items I have some items that I have in mind <laughs> that I want to get rid of, but there's some that I'm on the fence about, so we'll go through that together. So if this sounds like something you would like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, here is my makeup, and as you can see, it's like piled up and a little bit out of control. And I'm going to just kind of circle you around. This is my makeup area and it's also a little bit out of control and then if I keep going in that chair are more items that I just can't get to fit anywhere and I need to decide what to do so as you can see whoop, as you can see it's a little out of control so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and we'll just start going through these items together. Let's start with the items that are kind of sitting on top that I know I want to get rid of. I'll just sit them in this little container to the side. First up is this e.l.f. Um, this is the light blush palette. I did take out one of the blush colors. I took out um, the tan color. Okay, I put this highlight color in here because this is the highlight palette from e.l.f. And these two colors are like the same thing pretty much. You can see it's kind of like a, a chalky formula. Um, but So I don't need two of those. So I am going to get rid of this e.l.f. light palette. Um, I'm going to go see my friend next weekend so this video may or may not be up by then and um i'm gonna take her some of this makeup and i also have some other girlfriends that i can give it to so that's where it's gonna go um and i said in one video that i usually just have makeup for when friends come over and i'm like pick out what you want because i'm getting rid of it anyways this uh nyx blush and taupe I've had this for a long time. I've had times where it worked for me, and then I had uh, a lot of times it did not work for me. And I have found more consistent formulas that work for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This one is just going to go in the trash. It's ColourPop and Bonus. This is about two years old. It is a cream product. This is the only item that I've tried from ColourPop. It's been nice. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought, but... Um, two years is too old for a cream product, so I am just going to go ahead and put that in the trash. Um, so those were the few products that I knew I wanted to get rid of, um, but I have some right here that I know I also want to get rid of. This is the Milani Brow Fix. Um, this color is in, what is it, uh, Zero One Light. It was the only one that looked like it would match me, but it's still not right for me. And um, I just, I'm more of a tinted brow gel person if we're being realistic. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along. And it's so bulky that it's like, if you love it, I don't think that bulkiness is a problem. But when it's something you don't really like, it's just kind of obnoxious. Another product here is, this is Physician's Formula Quartz Quartet. This was definitely, uh, YouTube made me buy it. Emily Noel, um, a couple years ago was raving about these, uh, quads from Physicians Formula as being good matte shadows from the drugstore. And I do agree with that, but my collection has grown so much since I bought this. And then I panned the majority of another one, um, 
because I bought two. The other one was Classic Nudes, and I just, I think it's good, but I don't want it in my personal collection anymore, so I'm going to pass that along. Um, the other one right here, this was the NYX, um, what was it called? Oh, shoot, it's one of their Prismatic Fireball, and it's, it broke, so I put it in this container, and it's, this beautiful like rust color as you can see here it's just absolutely beautiful I really like their prismatic shadows but I recently just got the Lorac Mega Pro 3 let me make sure I wipe this product off because this Mega Pro is white and it's already getting like destroyed but anyways in this palette is a color um, called rust and I will I actually haven't compared them Okay, so this one is Lorac, and this one is, um, what did I just say, NYX. I don't think they're identical, but they're close enough that I don't think I need to break or keep a broken eyeshadow to have that, the same effect on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I will see if a friend wants it, even though it's broken, because I still think it's pretty. You just have to use it more like a pigment. Um, but if nobody wants it, then I will get rid of it. Um, and I'm really happy to have found another color similar, because, like I said, I do really like that other one. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this L'Oreal Infallible. This is Glistening Garnet. The thing about it is, like, this one is, which one is, I have Ice Latte, and I also have Amber rush and the thing that is nice about these two is they look beautiful on their own but this third one does not look beautiful on your own you have to just basically put it on your lid as a pop of color which means i'm not going to use it as much but i will go ahead and keep it for a little while and see maybe in the future if i do another declutter with it um here is a nars single eyeshadow this one is in himalaya this came in the Sephora Favorites kit last year when I bought it, and I was so excited to try this dual intensity formula because everyone raved about it, but to be completely honest, I'm not impressed at all with it. I mean, it's just like such a boring color, and it's dry and chalky, and part of me, the large part of me, wants to keep it just because it is a it's NARS, and it's like the only NARS product I own besides the concealer that I got in this year's favorites. Oh, and I have NARS Orgasm that I got in the uh, Sephora favorites. That's like the only way I own NARS. But I've used it like five times, and I haven't used it at all in the last year. So I will get rid of that. Um... There are a couple other things over here that I'm on the fence about, but I'm going to keep for now. Being this Circa uh, Alter Ego, these colors are beautiful. I just don't use them that much, so I just want to make a point to use it. Hopefully, I get use out of it now that I've gotten rid of a couple of things that were weighing me down a little bit. Um, so... I'm going to kind of reposition you to look back here. Okay, back here I have smaller eyeshadow palettes that I want to go through. Now that I have the Lorac Mega Throw... I always say Mega Throw. That's so weird. Anyways, now that I have the Lorac Mega Pro 3, I feel like I can be real with myself a little bit more. So the two things that I've been on the fence about getting rid of for a long time are these two. This is... The Wet n Wild High Flying Colors in Temporary Solutions. I've had these for about a year and a half. They were limited edition a couple of summers ago. I searched forever for them. I've used them a good bit. Oh, um, they have broken a good bit. And I don't know, they kind of stain my eyes, which kind of makes me worry about the formula. Um, they are very pigmented, but to be honest with you, I don't wear I don't wear these colors, and I have similar colors in other palettes to get me the same effect, even though it's not exactly the same. Um, like for example, here is the Avent Pop one. This is uh, Art Throb. You can see it has the green, the blue, the purple. 
Um, it's going to give me that pop of color. And I also have this, which was also a limited edition from Lorac. But it also has some bright colors, and I like the formula better. It doesn't stain my eyes. I just think that's odd. So I'm finally going to go ahead and get rid of these. I... I have Comfort Zone. I love it. It's worth the hype. I'm going to keep it. And I do also have this other color one that's Poster Child. And these colors are similar. And these are really pretty as well. So I'm going to keep those. Um, and I think that's all that I really had in mind for back here. Of course, I'm going to keep my Wet n Wild Contour Palettes. These are amazing. Um, they are not going to go anywhere. And, yeah, I think that's it for that little corner. I just really was, like, ready to get rid of those. Um, we're going to go over to the other side. I probably am not going to get rid of anything, but we'll at least look at it together. This is Wild at Heart by BH Cosmetics. I don't use this one a lot, but one of my dear friends got it for me, the one that I was in her wedding. And I just think that means so much because BH Cosmetics, you have to order online which I know isn't that big of a deal but it's nice that someone really went out of their way to get me something so I do enjoy it when I use it even though I don't use it all the time necessarily um so yeah I wanted to just kind of touch on that one because it was hiding back there all right so here in the very back I can scoot you up you have my highlighters bronzers and blushes and, <laughs> oh my gosh, here is Classic by Tarte. It was a holiday one a couple years ago. I decluttered it. I brought it back. I used it. Then I said I was going to keep it. I don't use it. It's for real going to go. Even though I hit pan, I was like, I'm for real going to use it. I hit pan and I haven't. Um, I love Prim by Tarte. And actually there are, I'm going to pull a couple there are some things in here I want to put into a project pan. So I just want to pull them out. Um, let's see here. This isn't one I was going to put in a project pan, but Milani Romantic Rose. I honestly don't use this one that much, and I probably could get rid of it, but it's so pretty, and I do enjoy it when I do use it. Same with Be Matte uh, Blush by City Color. This is in Pink Grapefruit. I don't use it a lot, but when I do, I absolutely love it. So I'll, <clears throat> I'm just going to hang on to it. All right. These two right here, this is the Prim by Tarte that I just talked about. And this is Laura Mercier, Mercier 01 Highlight. I'm going to put these in my uh, Project Pan bucket. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but I have a Project Pan container and things that I want to pan and remember that I want to pan I put it in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there because I've used them so much that I think I could finish them in a project and they're kind of to that point where I'm ready to pan them but I just I keep forgetting about them so we're gonna put that to the side you'll see them in future projects and I think that is pretty much it for this back area. Um, yes. And then let me focus you down. These are my bigger palettes and then some like pencil type sticks. Here are some e.l.f. pencil sticks. These are really nice, but I think they might be dry. They're actually not dry. I have T rose and neutral. So on top is T rose, on the bottom neutral. I thought they might be dried out, but they're not. T-Rose is my favorite. Um, I need to focus. Ah! I just dropped them both. I need to focus on using them. As far as palettes, I know I'm not getting rid of my Lorac Pro 2. Or 3. I'm not getting rid of my Lorac Pro 2. I really do enjoy the Revealed by Coastal Sins. Especially now that it's fall time. Definitely not getting rid of the Chocolate Bar palette. Really love that, even though I don't use it that much. This Smokies is relatively new in my collection, and I haven't used it that much. Definitely want to keep it. The Naked 3, it was my first 
a high-end palette and I love it so I'm definitely going to keep it. Here is the NYX Advent Pop. I have both. I have two. I have Art Throb and Nouveau Cheek. Um, these are really nice. I really enjoy those. The Lorac After what is it Afterglow that I already talked about. And then my all-time favorite, the Maya Mia. Definitely going to hang on to all of those. The very last thing I want to go over are my lips. Okay, my power went out when I was recording my video. The power of my block went out, which was weird because it was like sunny and nice out. But anyways, I did my nails. They look different and that's why. But I was talking about the lipsticks that I was going to get rid of. Uh, so the first one is the Katie Cat Matte. This was um, the Katy Perry collection with CoverGirl. This was Spinks Spinks. I really enjoyed, well, enjoy this color. I've only worn it a couple of times. But the thing is, the formula, in my opinion, isn't that great. It's very moisturizing to the point that it just kind of slips off a lot. So, um, I think I'm going to pass this along. I've only worn it a couple of times, so it's kind of in that prime position to get rid of it, uh, opposed to holding on to it longer. So there's one. And then the other one, this is a uh, Urban Decay Streak. This is in the older packaging. I just don't really like this color or formula. It's kind of the same way um, it's very moisturizing to the point that it slips everywhere and it kind of just sits on my lips opposed to like sinking in. I don't know. I just don't really like it um, and the color doesn't really work either for me. So I'm going to pass these two along. I have these two that I'm on the fence about. One is L'Oreal Divine Wine and one is um, Plum Baby by Revlon. I think they're too old to honestly give away. I've had them for over a year, uh, probably a year and a half. That's Plum Baby. I do really like the color. I just don't reach for it a lot, but I think I, I'll go ahead and keep them. This is Divine Wine, and I love these kind of browny, dark colors for fall. I don't wear them a lot, which makes me want to get rid of it, but I think they're too old to pass along, so I might as well just hold on to them for the rest of time until I'm ready to get rid of them. Um, but I think those are the only ones I'm going to get rid of. So I think that we have gone through everything, so let me show you what we have. I think we've done pretty well here with what we've gotten rid of. Um, there's a lot in here that... They're just, a lot of them are products that I've been wanting to get rid of for a while, but I was just decided to hold on to them for one reason or another. And part of me wants to go ahead and keep Pempery Solutions because of this red, these reds and oranges because I just think through uh, Halloween time they would be a lot of fun. But, I mean, what is that? Two more uses out of it and then it's done. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass them along. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see my one of my good friends this weekend, so I just want to have her go through them and see what she wants. But anyways, thank you all for watching this declutter. Um, let me know down below if you want me to do the style video for my closet. I would be happy to do it. I might just go ahead and do it anyways, but I would like to know if you guys are interested in that. And I think that's all I have for you. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.